Time. Ticking. Uh, good evening, everybody. Welcome to this Cabinet uh, meeting. Uh, see on the uh, 17th of August. Uh, first item on the agenda. Any apologies? We, Sam and Martin. Yeah, we have two from Martin Summers and Sam Smith. Uh, item two is the uh, previous minutes, which I have read. So I'll look for a mover and a seconder. Thank you. Item three is very important declaration of interests. Do we have any? No. Nobody interested. Um, item four, question time. Has anybody got any questions from the public realm? No. No, moving swiftly on. Thank you. Um, item five, matters referred to the Cabinet in accordance with the overview and scrutiny procedure rules. I'm not aware of any. Right, item six, uh, which is the uh, local cap. Local Council Tax Reduction Scheme 24-25, and that's in the very capable hands of our portfolio holder, Councillor Jay. Thank you very much. Um, as everyone will be aware, uh, the, a review of the current Council Tax Reduction Scheme was planned in previous years and was postponed um, until the impacts of the current economic situation on residents became clearer. Um, the recommendation tonight is that um, Cabinet approve the public consultation, the consultation with the public and major preceptor authorities uh, on the introduction of a new income banded scheme for working age applicants with effect from the 1st of April 2024. Uh, basically, this re will reduce the administrative burden placed on the council by the introduction of universe credit and um, increases the overall level of support for the lowest income families and improves the level of council tax collection overall. So, um, this is basically helps the council and looks at the, the vulnerable members of our society. So um, I'm happy to recommend that and uh, open up to questions. Any questions? Just one more thing to add. Um, obviously, it's, it's already gone through scrutiny as well, um, where it's had cross-party review. Um, and it went through scrutiny a couple of years ago and had a cross-party review and all that feedback was fed into this, so it's been well, uh, well reviewed in advance. Right, without right, further ado, I'll look for somebody to move it. Second it. Thank you. Uh, right, item seven, uh, and this is the exclusion of uh, press and public um, in accordance with the provision of the local authorities' ex executive arrangements, meetings and access to information in England, Regulation 2012 and Section 100A, brackets 4, of the Local Government Act of 1972, the press and public be excluded from the meeting during the consideration of following business on the grounds that it involves the likely disclosure of exempt information as defined in paragraph 3 of part one of the schedule of 12a to the act and that the public interest in withholding the information outweighs the public interest in disclosing the information at this time the agenda is to be published and no representative shall be received part of the meeting <coughs> happy to second that Julie Carrie. 